Morse with us on the sidelines. I found it was an interesting game. Anything they couldn't get from their starters, they got from their reserves. Well, you know, you hear about the importance of having depth all the time, bench players that contributed in last game. Their bench came alive. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. First personal well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here's Allen. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Boy, that is some kind of heads-up basketball from Holiday. He does not sleep on the wide-open man and found him perfect. Rejected by Lopez. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Middleton with it. And Jokic picks him up defensively. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Assisted. For the aggressive approach from Giannis, I like it. Not settling for the layup, instead punching it off. That's the way you do it. He gets it in there. Well, we're more than a few games into the year. How much do we know about this year's rookie class, Grant? Well, it's still early. We have to remember, we might be a half year into a decade-plus career for some of these guys. So I think it's best to reserve judgment for now. An NBA career is a marathon. Perhaps the best trait of Giannis is loyalty, Clark. Love that about him, B.A. We've seen others test those free agent waters. No begrudgment there, but not Giannis. Stayed in Milwaukee, a small market team, signing an extension in 2020, and then led the Bucks to that 2021 title. The Greek freak didn't need to get to a super team to get a ring. He birthed and led a super team right where he was. Now here's Holiday. 15 in his last outing. Middleton, no good. Got the ball Chris where he Middleton. wanted it, but then got swarmed. First team and it's the Nuggets with the ball. And they double up Murray. Ante Tacumpo is clearly a freak of an athlete. And his size with his agility and length and strength. And what really makes him special is that he works so hard on the defensive end. If he's on you, he's going to make it a long night for you. That one's wide left. Order in the post. And no good. His first shot of the night. Missing. Here's Milwaukee. Here's Lopez. Rejected by Jokic. You know, this is what we've seen Jokic do every night. I mean, he puts himself in position to make an impact on the game. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. Last time they met in Milwaukee. The last time they faced this team, they were very aggressive. Found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. Yeah, a significant differential in free throws made. I mean, give them credit. They capitalized on those opportunities. Crowder, left side. The rebound by Jackson. Deflects the pass. Denver in the lead. A nice shot by Smith. Man, that was a really nice interior shot by Smith. For a smaller guy, he's extremely confident when he gets down in the paint. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Well, one of the very best big men at handling the ball, Jokic's moves and creativity really set him apart as a big guy. Carter can't get it to go. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. That's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally, they have multiple ball handlers on the floor, guys who can make quick decisions. You know, one measure of Nikola Jokic's growth as a player is his triple-double tally. I mean, he's already among the NBA career leaders in that category. And he sinks the second. 
Well, among active players, only LeBron and Westbrook are ahead of Jokic in triple doubles, Clark. And B.A. with a lot of runway left in front of him. I mean, the Joker figures to keep climbing up that list. I don't know if he'll catch Russ or the big O at the top, but he's going to be in the neighborhood. Reggie Jackson. Got it. Another high IQ pass by Jokic. I mean, he knows all eyes are on him, and so he gives it up to a ready shooter. Javon That's just Carter. good basketball. Assist goes to. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Here's Jokic. Stolen by Carter. Router inside. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Connaughton can't hit. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. And you know, time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game, guys. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly a point of emphasis. Jeff Green. So he picks up just one from the line that time. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Here's Smith. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. With one on the clock. And so lots of scoring in a what happens here in the second and from what you've seen from the Nuggets what you take so far well, it's pretty obvious I mean cashing in on extra opportunities that's how they built this early lead for grinding it out on the glass they've really been working for those points and down it goes two points assist from on to the Kumpo has got six Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Jamal Murray with the Trading the lead back and forth, neither side is willing to back down. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. And this is Gordon's sweet spot. An awesome dunker who loves getting in tight and wrecking the rim. That's the way. Murray with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Jamal and Murray. Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his first personal foul. That's his first foul. I love great board. defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. And confidence is such a critical component. How much does it help to have a head coach who really believes in you as a player, Clark? B.A., I think it does add, and it, it adds to your own confidence level and it infuses you. But self-talk is the most important talk. But when it's supported by your coach, I think now you've got the best of all worlds when it comes to confidence. ACP is a guy who can pull up from three just as easily as take it to the cup. He's a tough cover in transition. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous step, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let them get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. You know, Clark, only a handful of teams have won more individual MVP awards than the Bucs. That's really interesting, B.A., that you mentioned that. But that's how it goes when you have players like Kareem and Giannis walking through your door. And who knows, Giannis might have even more in him before he's done. Matthews misses. And here's Denver. It's been eight unanswered for them. Anadokounmpo with the block. Hey, when Giannis is lurking nearby, you got to be careful because his wingspan can erase a lot of shots. Pablo Kelashvili. Blocked! Here's Caldwell Pope. 
on an Akumpo with the block. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. Jamal Murray. That's foul number two for him. That's his second person. That's a foul he wanted to avoid. And he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Well, they put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. And the Bucks making a change here. Ooh, stolen by Murray. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Nicole Jokic again has won the league MVP, but he's not one to beat his own chest. He said, quote, I never think about it. I didn't come here to be the MVP of the league. I always think that somebody's better than me, and I want to compete to beat them. Just by that mentality alone, I'm the underdog every time. Brian? Well, it's working for him, Allie. Thanks. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. And the basket by Holiday. Boy, Holiday's a strong guard, does not mind mixing it up at all. He can play physical if he needs to. Two minutes remaining in the first round. Two minutes. Pass to Ingles. Down low. Here's Mamo Kelechvili. And it's Denver with a rebound. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Nuggets. Denver ball. The Nuggets making a switch here. Substitution for your Nuggets. And a little under three and a half minutes Jeff elapsed Green. here in the second quarter. Reggie Jackson. Here's Jackson. Anacupo grabs the board. The Bucks trail. Pass to Mama Kalashvili. Back to Anacupo. Outside Holiday. Shots good by Anacupo. Anacupo's got four points now in the quarter. From role player to MVP, Giannis is improving his upper body Nuggets strength. Foul. Has really been a factor in his overall development. That's his first the Bucks making foul. a switch here. 13 foul. 102 left to the second. Goes up on the baseline. Here's the second effort. And he gets Giannis the bucket. Adenakumpo has got 10 points in the game. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Brown inside. Tips it. Great positioning on the putback. Bryant's got his second bucket on the night. Now that takes a skillful touch. Yeah, excellent control to just ease the ball back up and in. That's exactly right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands that he does. Doubled by Ingles. Green. Good work defensively by Crowder. The shot by Holiday, no good. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Here's Jackson. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. With impressive quickness, Jackson is usually able to stay a step or two ahead of the defense. Reggie Jackson at the line for two. And he makes a first. And he makes both free throws. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Here's Bochamp. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Assist goes Super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. 
It's all tied. Here's Holiday. Here's Allen. That one falls. Nice Good feed that time from Holiday. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. And he recovers it. And the ball goes out of bounds. Out of Last bounds. touch by Lopez. In the ball. In for the bounce. Bochan. It's stolen by Holiday. And here's the fast break. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. There are nights that Ana de Kumpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Here's Bochamp. Yep, that one's good. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assists. Jokic way outside. Rebound by Middleton. Rough start to the third quarter, but give some credit to the defense they're facing. Wow, well, it's tough home court advantage. Out. You think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? I think so, B.A., and it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body, trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. Now a timeout called by Denver. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Again, Ben, let's give it up one more time for your Nuggets Benny Dance team. The Nuggets trail. Jokic is doubled. Lopez with the steal. To the paint. Here's Holiday. Second chance shot. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Deflected. You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean, he's got a natural knack for doing it. It's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you gotta love that action. The grab both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most Checking dominant the slasher and driver in league history. And the Nuggets making a change here. Here's Porter. The putback. It's good yes. on the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. And there's the foul. It's on Michael Porter. That's his first, That's his first foul. foul of the game. First team foul. In for the Bucks. Middleton is doubled. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Michael Porter Jr. The rise of Chris Middleton has been fantastic to watch. He's proven to be a very skilled two-way threat and a lethal clutch score. And let's not forget, Middleton is a former second-round pick. Player. And he's had to work harder because of that, B.A., and that's part of what has led to his greatness, the fact that he's had to work so hard to prove to himself and to others that he belongs. Here's Ana de Kumpo. It falls again. He's now 8 for 12 from the floor. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And he gets that one. And now it's a seven-point Milwaukee lead. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Two minutes. And Jamal Murray picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. That's and there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. It's good. 
guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Najee. And he goes strong with the one-handed jab. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one hand, whole punch. Milwaukee calls timeout. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. They've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that and Giannis. Outside Holiday. Over Smith. Here's Lopez. And that one drops for him. Lopez, Lopez has got six. Even though his game is more perimeter-oriented now, Lopez can still mix it up inside. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay, for sure. The assist. Good heads-up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. And here's Brown for three. Here's Green. And he can't get that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. On the wing, Ingles. Jacks up a three. And Bryant pulls it down. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. You talk about passing. Smith is one of the best in the game in that aspect. An incredible distributor. Pass to Bryant. Back to Brown. Left side, Green. Good work defensively by Lopez. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play. Wrong result. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth. Bucks ahead. Now here's Jokic. Up and over Crowder. The offensive rebound. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. And that sixth sense, guys, might be better than just about anybody else's. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Inside. Here's Crowder. Jay Crowder. Banked it in off the glass. Assisted by. They've now had Devon assist Crowder. on each of their last three buckets. To the middle. Here's Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. Boy, I like how Gordon misses the ball. His teammates are open. He finds them on time and on target. And rejected. And they get it back. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. I love the way they're finishing, penetrating, getting downhill, taking the game to their opponents. They've been the aggressors, and that's been impressive. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. And, you know, when Porter Jr. is healthy, I mean, he's got a lot of game. This guy is versatile. He's got good size. He's a multi-dimensional talent. Porter hits them both. Boy, I tell you, the Bucks are a big, tough, physical team, even in the backcourt. 
That's part of why they won the championship in 21 and are contenders going forward as long as they stay healthy. The rebound by Matthews. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Middleton. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Gordon. You know, Clark, on top of that physicality, the Bucks have guys who can stretch the floor now. Yeah, it's a nice combination, B.A. They can create space without having to play small ball. Not many teams can do that. Makes them one of the more unique squads in the league. Kudos for the effort, but he got there a little too late. Milwaukee calls timeout. Get a report from Ali. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He likes what he's seeing, but he cautioned his players, we are not far enough ahead to assume anything. Momentum can shift in a heartbeat. We have to be diligent, and we have to be smart. Okay, thank you, Ali. Pass to Jokic. And that bucket makes him 6 for 10 in the contest. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Gordon. On an Akumpo with the block. Porter gets the bucket. What good is it to get stops if you can't keep them off the boards? They're getting outworked on the glass, and those second chance buckets have devastated their defense. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. The Nuggets trail. Here's Caldwell Pope. The rebound by Ingles. Pass to Bochan. Two minutes remaining in the game. Freak D that time from Murray. And here's Denver. And here is Hanada Kumpo. To the inside. And the basket by Hanada Kumpo. Hanada Kumpo's gotten four this quarter. Really confident from the interior because of his length and strength. Giannis feels like he can score from anywhere, anytime. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Gordon. On an Akupo with the block. Oh, deflected. To the middle. Here's on an Akupo. Nuggets five. Nuggets five. That's his second person. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. A blind to the points. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. It's starting to feel like desperation time. Desperation indeed. They're playing against the clock. Jamal Murray proving he's yeah, not afraid of the big moment. Big time shot there. Timeout call. Milwaukee. They're leading by four. 124 left in the final quarter. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Jokic grabs the board. With one more board, he'd have a double-double. Imposing his will physically tonight. Showing a lot of fight. And it's in there. Hey, you can't just have skill and confidence to make big shots. You gotta have a big tick or two. 
You know, feeling very comfortable taking a big shot when his team needs it, that's a, that's a sign of how Antetokounmpo has matured recently. Porter gets the bucket. Major poise for Porter Jr. Big time at coming through when his teammates need him to. And there it is for him. And talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Here's Jokic. Out of the Kumpo with the block. So the first one drops. And that puts him up five. Shooting from Milwaukee. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. Caldwell Pope shot is off. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And, you know, Lopez, to me, is what you think of when you hear the term stretch five. A center with some real deep range. And it's Jokic missing. Here's Milwaukee. It's Middleton on the wing. And it's Middleton finishing it off. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. The deep three from Murray. And again, Denver no good. Nuggets foul. Previous That's his second personal foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Shooting for Milwaukee. And he ends up making the second. And that'll push the lead to double digits. He did enough to put this one away. Hard fought battle, though. Pass to Najee. To the wing, right side. Oh, no good again that time. So this one belongs to the Bucks. The the they have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the...